Traders, this video is going to walk you through the concept of parallel chart connections and what that means for your specific plan. Now, if you have an essential plan, a plus plan, a premium plan, or possibly even one of our professional plans, because you are a professional working at a bank, an institution, something of that sort, this video applies to you. And we are going to tell you what it means to have, for example, 10 parallel chart connections. Or if you have a premium plan, what it means to have 50 parallel chart connections. Now, if you hover your mouse over this concept on our pricing page or head to our help center, there are some articles that also explain what a parallel chart connection is. And we're gonna go into detail in this video as well. So we're gonna open up a tab here where you can see there is a chart open. And this is a single chart. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a parallel chart connection. So this, is, this right here is one chart connection. So if we had, for example, a premium plan with 50 parallel chart connections, well, we can open up another tab and now we have, for example, another parallel chart connection created. So now we have two parallel chart connections created. Now keep in mind, even if we are looking at the same symbol, in this case, we're looking at Apple, in this case, for solar, even if we look at, once again, Apple, so now we have two charts open with the same symbol, that is still two parallel chart connections. Well, let's go ahead and open up another tab, and now we have a chart of BTC USD. We're now up to three parallel chart connections. So depending on the plan you have, you can start to count how many parallel chart connections you have remaining. So we just showed you three parallel chart connections, three separate tabs, three separate charts. And if we had an essential plan, we would have seven more tabs that we could open. If we had a plus plan, we would have 17 more chart connections that we could open and so on. We're just subtracting the tabs we have open from the amount connected to our current plan. Now, keep in mind, by the way, that if you have charts open, for example, on your web just as we're doing here. So your TradingView web page, just like this, that's one. Maybe you have a chart open on your mobile app, that's two. Perhaps you also have several charts open on your tablet. You can add those to the count. And maybe you even use the TradingView desktop app where you have several tabs open. Those are also parallel chart connections. So you wanna make sure that you know that you are adding this up across all of the devices that you utilize TradingView on, and that is being added to your chart connection. So in this case, we would add up all of the chart connections and we would then utilize that according to the plan we have or the plan we want to purchase. So if you have a premium plan, you can have up to 50 parallel chart connections. That means you could have 50 tabs open at once with 50 different or same symbols. You could have your tabs open and your desktop app and your mobile app all at the same time, equaling up to 50 parallel chart connections. Now, of course, there are a number of ways why you might wanna do this. Perhaps you like to have, for example, different modes of research. Maybe you like to look at all of your watch list on entirely separate tabs. So then you can click through your tabs. So if you have some 50 symbols that you like to always have open on your computer, well, this might be the solution for you. But keep in mind, you can even maximize your parallel chart connections by accessing the multi-chart layout because, for example, we have two symbols open here in the multi-chart layout. This does not count as two parallel chart connections. No, this still counts as just one parallel chart connection. This tab, utilizing the multi-chart layout of two charts, is just one one chart connection. So essentially a chart connection at its core is when you are accessing the TradingView charts directly from a separate tab, window, or device. And if you are doing that, you wanna make sure you know what your limits are. Now, one final way to end this video is that you can really do a lot with this process. Because we did not even mention yet that you can perform multiple time frame analysis across the same symbol in your multiple chart layouts and across the other tabs that you have open. So if you wish, you could have this 10 minute chart of Bitcoin, this one hour chart of gold, and perhaps we go to Apple and it's a daily chart. Now we're looking at a daily chart, a 10 minute chart, an hourly chart. Maybe there are specific movements you're looking for or intermarket dynamics. Perhaps you wanna look up the same symbol, here's Apple Daily, on different chart connections. So let's also go to Apple here. So we have Apple one hour, 
Let's change this to Apple 10 minutes. And now you are essentially looking at that symbol in three different ways. 10 minute chart of Apple, one hour chart of Apple, another tab, a daily chart of Apple. And you could keep this going essentially up to the maximum amount of parallel chart connections that you have. Now, keep in mind that when you have maximized your chart connections, you're going to get a pop up like this. And it says we've closed this connection. And the way it works is essentially once you have gone past your maximum parallel chart connections, the oldest chart that you opened, or maybe you could consider it the first chart you opened, the one that is sort of first in line, it's the first one you opened since you maximized your parallel chart connections, that one will be closed. And the essentially per, the way you'll get access back to this is either by getting more chart connections like that, or restoring the connection by closing other chart connections. So what we're saying here is you can open up to the maximum amount of allowed parallel chart connections. And once you exceed that, it's going to close that earliest chart connection. And you'll have to do some work to make sure you close the charts you no longer want opened and that you restore the connections that you want restored. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the full walkthrough on parallel chart connections, and we hope that this gives you the breakdown about how it works, why it matters, what it looks like, and of course, all of the different plans available to you that give you more parallel chart connections, or perhaps you're a professional looking for a professional plan with a very large amount of parallel chart connections. You can also get that information from making sure you select the professional plan, but the non-professional plans are also listed here as well. So at the core here, this video was created to give you the full breakdown and walkthrough that you need to understand the importance of parallel chart connections, how it works, and why it matters. So thanks for watching.